Yo, Ake gang, what's going on? It's your boy RK back with another episode of Pro KFC. Sorry, guys, for uh, delaying this episode. Basically, there's nothing much upgrades or nothing much profit I made during this period, so that's the reason why I delayed this video. Anyways, it is here, and also if you're new to this series, basically on a brand new account, I have to start grinding and I have to reach the highest OVR without spending any money. So in the previous episode, I ended up with 360 million coins and a 96 rated team, and then uh, the next week you know when the heroes event launched i packed a diago four land from the 93 to 97 exchange and he looked like a solid card guy so i instantly put him in the team and i got a few mascheranos as well which i was willing to spend on so i just upgraded four land i always try to upgrade my players to three levels at best guys i don't try to upgrade it more than that at the moment the first two upgrades are always successful so just like that it went successful and then i've got two mascheranos left and yeah i was willing to take the 50 percent chance I just use one Mashirano and then even that was a success. So can't complain about that, definitely. 99 4 land and he looked like a great card at 99 after I ranked him up and leveled him up. I used it on Dexterity as well, his skill points. That's the first big update. And coming to my pack luck, uh, it was not really the best, but still I had a few good pulls, guys. For example, this uh, Yaya Tore. I packed him from the 83 into 5 exchange, I mean, where all the 5 players are tradable. He was going for 20, around 23 million coins so that was a decent pack luck and the next thing i did was you know i just spent all my gems on this ramadan pack which is untradeable which has 392 96 rated players i thought this pack was too good to pass on all my other accounts i had great pulls from this pack so i have decided to go with this pack and this is what i got guys one of my favorite heroes in fc mobile or fifa mobile as well i packed the speed king l o y run this card is fantastic guys i already tried it uh, on one of my accounts i, I tried him at 100 rated though and he was fantastic apart from him rest all pulls they weren't really the best and the next thing i did was you know i invested on this cap de villas when uh they were at 23 or 24 million coins for the first time ever on this account i have decided to gamble on this 96 to 97 rated exchange and guess what guys that didn't really go according to the plan because uh, let me show you what happened first so this is the first pack you just look at this pack as i mean yeah uh, on a free to play account this is one of the worst pack you can get from this 96 to 97 exchange i got quite a scale here who's going for 55 million coins and you know what how much i spent for the exchange even at my investment rate which is 23 million coins i spent like 70 million coins for the exchange in return i got like 55 million coins so after tax like 50 million coins i made a 20 million coins loss on that exchange itself and also guys i forgot to show you a few of my investments where i made 40 million coins loss yes you heard it right uh, not all investments were successful guys and yeah anyways the next pack was dirk coit uh who is a 96 hater the card looks solid guys i thought it's going to be much more expensive than that but he was going for his just 52 million coins at the time which is kind of disappointing but i ended up selling him for like around 45 to 50 million coins if i'm not wrong yeah that's what happened so far guys so guys i sold all my cap de villa for 29.7 million coin per card so i made a decent amount of profit there but the thing is overall i made a loss because of those two 96 or 97 exchanges both our exchanges gave us a big loss like 40 to 50 million coins loss because of that i couldn't reach the 400 uh, 420 million mark but anyways guys the next thing i wanted to do was as you can see on the screen right now i've got lots of untradeable players so i have decided to convert those untradeable players into tradable players i'm gonna show that how but before that i have opened this ramadan pack which has a tradable 88 to 96 into two players for 10,000 gems so i thought you know i wanted to gamble my luck a bit and this is what i got so i got sofian amrabat from manchester united and morocco not the highest rated card but you know what these are risky packs obviously sometimes you got to take the risk my risk didn't pay out this time anyways guys let's get back to the business here we go i got all the uh, ranked up card blue ranked up card all of those cards i got for 133.6 million coins so let's see how much are we gonna make uh, the coins back i have went with the two to three rank up guys because uh, from two to three the price variation is different from a rank two card to a rank three card so that's the reason why i was willing to take the risk and look at modric this went successful so on this card i'm making like seven to eight million coins profit which is quite good if you ask me that's a profit for us and then the nakata 95 to 96 even this is a success and so far out of the three two went successful guys for racking up using one a player item now let's move on to diaby and unfortunately diaby was a failure guys so far out of four two went successful with 50 percent and two went unsuccessful with 50 percent probability and then 
next one is Jonathan Ta. This is actually good because uh, the difference between the rank 2 and rank 3 card is actually 10 million coins. So I'm making like at least 8 million coins uh, after tax. So that's a good profit. And the next one is Fakir. So far, 3 successful and 2 unsuccessful. And with Fakir, that became 4 successful and 2 unsuccessful. So 95 rated Fakir. So even there, we are making a decent amount of coins. And the next one I did was John Stones. So I got his 93 blue ranked version. And even this is a successful, guys. So 5 successful, 2 unsuccessful. So far, the 50% probability has been very kind to us, guys. This is what it tried next, Mindy. And yep, that was a failure. 5 successful and 3 unsuccessful so far. Even then, we are looking at like at least 40 million coins, 30 to 40 million coins profit, guys. Which I'll take that, you know. Instead of having untradeables in your club, I would prefer making coins out of them. The next one is Luka Modric. I think this was success. Yeah, this was a success as well, guys. Another few million coins profit from Luka Modric. I'll take that. I'll absolutely take that. We had great success probability today. And the next thing is Wang Hee Chan. So except 3 or 4, all of them were successful. I was quite surprised, guys, because normally the 50% probability, it should be uh, 1 success, 1 failure, 1 success, 1 failure like that. But yeah, it that hasn't been the case this time. And I tried 20% rank up on Wang, uh, Wang Hee Chan, but that went unsuccessful. And the next player is Bukio Saka. I think even this was a success. Yep, even this was a success, guys. So 50% probability, they paid out very well for me. Most of them went success. The next thing I did was obviously listing all those players. As you can see, on most of them, we are making profit, except a few, uh, a three or four went a uh, failure. I'm just losing, you know, tax on them. Apart from that, no, nothing else. And the next card, I forgot to rank up Ryan. Even this was a success. So the 50% probability was too good for me. And uh, that's what happened. And then I bought Van Dyke, guys, to rank him up. I got a Van Dyke untradeable card. So yeah, if this was a success, I would have made 10 million more coins from Van Dyke himself. But yeah, it, it was a failure. You know what? That's fine though, because we've got too many successes, guys, uh, on this 50% uh, uh, probability rank up. And we sold all the cards. I made 171 million coins. So that's like 38 million coins profit, guys. Not 38. It's even, uh, yeah, it's like 38 million coins profit. Not bad. And then what I did was I bought in Al Ovaran to the team. And then I've got a few match channels. If you're wondering where I got this match channels from, it's from the Heroes chapter, guys. I've completed all the three Heroes chapters. So you got three there. And also from the uh, Heroes Expedition, I got two or three. I don't remember exactly. But yeah, that's how I got my match channels, guys. Rank one is always a success because it's 100% probability. Even the rank two is always a success because that's 100% probability. So we successfully ranked him up to 97 OVR. And even at 98, his stats look good, guys. I once again used just one match Shirano. Not gonna lie, on my free to play account, my match Shirano luck is decent, guys. Because most of the times, the 50% probability is a success for me. So I can't complain about that. Now I've decided to make big changes for my team, guys. I wanna change my goalkeeper. I know Kobel is great, but he's low rated. I wanna go further, guys. I wanna reach at least 98 OVR today. So that's the goalkeeper, Peter Schmeichel, 94 rated card. And coming to the center backs, I got confused at first, guys. But at the end, I've decided to go with Sol Campbell. Even his card is going for a cheap price. I mean, com uh, compared to other uh, high rated center back so i went with three ranked up soul campbell and yeah the purchase went successful for 55 million coins so that's gonna be the next player i think with him i'm sure we're gonna reach 97 ovr guys so let's put him in in the team in the starting 11 so let's go welcome to the team soul campbell and yep we did beat 97 ovr guys so the next thing i did was i wanted to change my right back i wanted to get a more defensive right back and i went with callus albert i think he's still one of the best options you can go for so welcome to the club 96 rated callus alberto our defense is solid right now, not gonna lie. Alice Alberto, Cap de Villa, both defensively good full backs. And I sold my Pedro Porro card. And then Schmeichel Poch is also successful, but I had to pay a little more. 67.9 million coins. Let's bring him into the team, guys. 97 over here with him. Hopefully, we reach 98. Let's have a look. Never mind, guys. We haven't reached 98. I also wanted to change my striker from Zardes. Zardes has been a spectacular striker. But you know what? I want to compete in head to head, guys. B because this month, I might get a few extra hours per day to grind head to head so i'll try my best to uh, take this account to uh, you know uh, 1 million trophies so yeah that's the reason why i wanted to invest on a good cast in every position and the next position is the left mid because we're getting striker ginola i have to replace my left mid ginola with nedved ginola welcome to the club and yeah nedved is a very good card guys i've got him in one of my main accounts as well so yeah let's go place them both in the team and hopefully with those two coming to the team we might reach 98 ovr guys i think we should reach 98 ovr so nedved welcome to the club and then the striker position of course we've got the beast Ginola. you might be wondering why am i using such a uh, outdated card guys i mean it's not really outdated card it's still one of the best strikers in the game trust me guys when i say a striker 
it is good. It's definitely good. This is my team. And no, we haven't reached 97 OVR. All right. So it's time to uh, ranking uh, Bellingham. So with that, uh, he's going to be a red ranked card. Okay. It got success, guys. As you can see, this account had no failures, guys. 50% above is always success on this account. I'm, I'm so glad. And yep, we did reach 98 OVR, guys. And our team valuation right now is 1 billion, 82 million coins. So not at all bad, guys. Not at all bad. Looking like a great team. But the only downside is that now I've got less coins to invest with. I only got 90 million coins, guys, which is sad. But you know what? That's fine. We, we will figure out a way to make coins from that. I, I have to, you know, uh, be careful this time because the last one month, I've got like 100 million coin loss, guys, by investments. I invested on 90 related players and their price dropped a lot. Their price didn't increase as expected. So I lost tax or uh, like 10% tax yearly uh, takes away a lot of our coins, guys. Anyways, now let's go and play a head to head match with this beautiful team guys all right guys so here we go we found our head to head opponent and yep right now i'm at pro one guys that's because i've hardly played any matches on this account anyways by the end of this season i'm i promise i'm gonna take this account to 1 million cups and yep here we go so this is my team my team looks solid not gonna lie it's good enough to be 1 million plus trophies and this is my opponent's team not really the best team if you ask me but you know what never underestimate a, an opponent with the team so let's go guys and you know i want to score like at least three or four goals so that's my target oh al jabber okay that's a foul that's a free kick for us okay i think we, i see an opportunity here I, I scored a lot of these free kicks guys never mind that was a poor delivery from jude bellingham oh all right hello Aaron. score it never mind Forlan gets it somehow wow <laughs> this is the most confusing goal I've ever scored, guys. I don't even know what happened, but somehow the ball ended up at Rude Hullet's feet and he just gets a tap in there. That's the first goal of the match already. And let's go. And oh, that was a nice shot from David Ginola, but yeah, that wasn't on target. I wish that was on target, guys. All right, David Ginola. Let's go, David Ginola. He's quick. He's quick. And that's a beautiful goal. So David Ginola, great strength. And yep, that heel to heel was amazing. And I don't think my opponents got any chance there stopping David Ginola, especially given the Fernando Hierro space is too low. So yep, 2-0 in the game. So it's half time, guys. 2-0 up. So hopefully a couple more goals in the second half, then I'll be happy. And never mind, that was a wasted opportunity at the end. Oh, oh, let's go let's go guys good good pressing by my team good pressing by my team i lost the ball there but instantly yeah jude billingham wins it back and shoots to make it 3-0 and rudhuli takes a shot and the keeper saves it that was a nice power shot not gonna lie and we got a corner here let's go and rudhuli Okay, that was a perfect header from Lord Hullet, guys. 72nd minute of the game and Lord Hullet scores the fourth goal. So can we get one more goal? One or two goals? That would be awesome. Hello, Varan. Okay, that's full time, guys. So we win the match. Four goals to nil. I mean, could have definitely got a few more goals. But yeah, still a good win, guys. So that's it. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also go click on the video on the screen right now.